It's tempting to think things could have turned out differently or any better for Native Americans if only they had chosen better allies a time or two. Iroquois tribes joined the French in the French and Indian Wars against the British. After that defeat, the Iroquois sided with the British during the Revolutionary War. After the Revolution, Iroquois joined the British again in their loss of the War of 1812, which saw the fall of the romantic Shawnee orator Tecumseh and the rise of General Andrew Jackson. Ever since Pocahontas married John Rolfe, America had become a melting pot of old and new worlds. Many natives assimilated into this new life, and many second and third generation colonists claimed their tribal heritage, such as Alexander McGillivray, a mixed race chief of the Creek Nation who skillfully negotiated the Treaty of New York. The negotiation was successful for the Creeks and an early test of American values based on human rights and natural law. Unfortunately, the U.S. government did not successfully police its settlers who kept encroaching on Creek lands, breaking its terms the very next year. One of the darkest chapters in all of American history is the Indian Removal Act and the Trail of Tears. And there are several routes used to lead natives to Indian territory, and Cherokee Removal Memorial Park was built on one of the northern routes. The five civilized tribes of the Southeast made great strides to form representative governments, adopt Christianity, operate plantations, and spread literacy, all in the hopes in appeasing the newly formed U.S. government. But the prevailing will of the people, and especially the will of President Andrew Jackson, was to remove all the Indians from their own lands. Major Ridge, his son John Ridge, and Elias Bouneau were three prominent Cherokee who knew that their time was running out and negotiated a larger share of land and payment while they still had something to bargain with. Chief of the Cherokee, John Ross, was livid that they signed the treaty without his authority. So the three signers were killed for their treason. Yet the betrayal would continue, as the U.S. government later gave away land it had promised to the Cherokee after they had arrived. Great farms were taken over by new owners, and the tribes were forced to march across harsh terrain into Indian territory in present-day Oklahoma. And on that hard march, many died, young and old, whose bodies were often left by the trail to rot. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.